Alliance Heroes of the Spire is massively breaking into top mobile charts and it's a game that you should know about. With almost 400 unique heroes that you can combine in over 10,000 different ways on the battlefield. You can either fight to the death against crazy giant bosses as we like to do in all RPG games or battle real people and even your best friends in PvP mode. Not to mention really massive battles between guilds which is sick. Honestly, I can sit here and talk for hours about this game, but I'd rather you guys check it out for yourself. It is free to play and it's available on iOS and Android, but if you guys download the game using my link below, then you'll get a sweet bonus of 50,000 gold and 50 gems. So check it out now before the offer expires, link below. What's up guys, Zeph from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 134 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the show and if you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video link below. With that said, let the Setup Wars begin. Kicking off the episode is Daniel and his gaming and editing setup judging by the Vegas Pro icon on his desktop. He's rocking a 27 inch Samsung monitor that is sitting on top of the popular Satachi monitor stand and below that we got the Logitech G610 keyboard coupled with the Corsair Scimitar mouse. Is it Scimitar or Scimitar? I still don't know how to pronounce that mouse. But anyways, I do like the way he managed those cables. I also like those racks that are holding up his Mackie CR4 speakers because you can even use them as storage space, which is pretty cool. On the left side, we can find his AKG K7XX headphones resting on the desk lamp, and right below his monitor is the portable Samsung Go mic. Cable management underneath the desk looks very clean, the Signum is holding up majority of the cables, and the rest of the wires are being held up using cable clips, nicely done. The PC powering the setup is rocking the 5820K, 16 gigs of RAM and an ASUS R9 390X. Not a bad gaming and productivity setup, thank you Daniel for starting off the show. Next up we got Eric from Taiwan and this is the setup he uses for gaming and editing. It features a 34 inch ultrawide from LG, the Corsair K70 Lux RGB keyboard and the Logitech G502 mouse. The setup also has a monitor riser, however it's not really holding up anything because I think the monitor itself is mounted against the wall. So here's an interesting layout for his mouse and bungee. Most people would put the bungee on the edge of the desk but then that would mean that the mouse wire has to go across the desk which doesn't really look as clean. Well Eric came up with a pretty cool solution for this. So he moved his mouse bungee above his keyboard where he drilled a hole to route both of his wires through. That's actually pretty smart. I mean it's not the cleanest look but I much prefer this solution over the latter. He doesn't have any headphones but he does have a pair of Altec Lansing speakers as his main audio source. I do have to give Eric some props on the cable management. Not only did he do a good job organizing the wires under the desk, but he even added channel raceways against the wall to route the cables above the desk. He even took it a step further and skinned them in black carbon fiber. That's an interesting choice. It's obvious that Eric is a fan of anime, and his setup reflects that, from the wallpaper on the monitor and phone, to the stickers, and even his PC which is modded with some skins. I also like that PSU shroud mod he did near the bottom with those LED lights, that looks pretty cool. A very clean and straightforward setup, thank you Eric for entering. At number 3 we got Justin and his gaming setup featuring a 29 inch ultrawide from LG. I love the white on black contrast, the desk setup actually looks very modern. It's a simple IKEA desk, but he actually skinned the top with white carbon fiber to give it that extra contrast. He even skinned his PC case to go along with the color scheme. On the desk, he's got the Logitech G610 keyboard and the Logitech G502 mouse, along with a few other things like the G930 gaming headset, a phone stand, and a Harman Kardon speaker. Pretty good work with the cable management underneath the desk, looks like everything is hooked up behind the backboard, so no complaints here. However, the wires above your setup can be improved, either drilling a hole in the desk to route them through there, or simply tying them together would clean up the surface a bit. Justin also has a laptop for when he needs to go mobile, and I'm assuming that he stores that on the top drawer underneath his desk for when he's not using it, because leaving it on the desk like that simply takes up too much space. The main PC powering this setup is on the opposite side on the ground, and it features the 7700K and the ASUS Strix 1070. It's a shame that it's on the floor because it's actually a decent looking PC. A very balanced gaming setup with awesome color contrast, thank you Justin for entering. Nathy, who is a warden from South Africa, is our fourth contestant and this is his setup for gaming and editing. 
He built it on a custom made desk and it features three wall mounted Dell monitors, the Mad Cat Strike 7 keyboard and the Rat 7 mouse. He kept the setup very clean, he kept the audio interface right in front of him and he mounted his KRK Rocket 6 speakers on the walls and his headset on a stand to his right. Very clean job overall. Speaking of clean, I have no complaints when it comes to the cable management. He's pretty much hooked up everything underneath the desk and he even used cable raceways everywhere to hide the cables. Excellent work. The PC on the other hand is more like a supercomputer. At least that's what it looks like from the outside. On the inside, it's got the 4790K and two ASUS Strix 1070s in SLI with 32 gigs of RAM. However, he did add two extra radiators, one on the top and one on the bottom. I honestly thought it was a water-cooled PC at first, because why would you add two extra radiators in an air-cooled build like that? It just makes no sense. So on the other side of his room, he actually has a wall-mounted Xbox One setup that's hooked up to a TV. What can I say, a pretty badass gaming setup, thank you Nathy for entering. Wrapping up the episode, we got Ryan making a return from episode 124. If you guys remember, he shared a room with his girlfriend, which had a setup right beside his, but since then, she actually moved her setup into another room, giving Ryan some extra space to redo his setup. It looks like he got a new desk as well, and he mentioned in the notes that he got inspiration from my Wolverine setup that I created on the channel. There's definitely a lot going on here, but I feel like Ryan did an excellent job organizing things while keeping stuff symmetrical and balanced at the same time. The monitor he is using is still the same 28 inch 4K display from Samsung, however this time he mounted it against the wall. Right above that, he still got the 48 inch Vizio TV with Chromecast built in, and he's even hooked up his Wii U and PS4 Slim to the TV for console gaming for when he is not streaming videos. The keyboard mouse and mouse pad are all from Corsair, and I like that he drilled a hole underneath the desk for the wire management. So this is a music production setup as well, which is why he has two KRK Rocket powered 5 speakers. He also has the ATH M50X headphones and the MXL 770 microphone. I really like the neutral white on black color scheme and I feel like it looks so much better than before because there was way too much black on his previous setup and I wasn't really a fan of that. I definitely like seeing brighter colors in a setup to give it that extra pop. The PC powering the setup is still using the same parts. We got the 6600K and the EVGA GTX 1070 that's sitting inside the Fantex M2 Pro case. I like that you added a Kylo Ren figurine on the desk and the Xbox One Elite controller to balance it on the other side. Definitely some major improvements from last time. Thank you again, Ryan, for entering. But that pretty much wraps up this episode. As always, make sure you guys leave your comments below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup and I'll announce the winners on my social media platforms on the weekend. If you guys enjoyed the show, dropping a like would be awesome. And if you guys don't, please, I encourage you to leave a dislike. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.